Hello everybody! Today I'm going to show you how to use Cheat Engine in order to hack any game running on pretty much any emulator on your PC. I have confirmed this method as working for Android emulators, certain Game Boy emulators and certain older PlayStation emulators as well and I'm sure it will work for most other ones too that cannot be hacked using traditional methods, traditional methods being just simply attaching Cheat Engine to the emulator process, which may not work for a lot of emulators. So the way you do this is pretty simple actually. You have to make sure in Cheat Engine, by the way, if you don't have Cheat Engine, there's a download link in the description. In Cheat Engine, you go to Edit, Settings, and then you go under Extra, and you make sure to activate the read write process memory option once that is activated you go for ok and what this will allow you to do and which is actually very ingenious is it will allow you to instead of just attaching cheat engine to a process on your computer attach it to the actual physical memory so your whole ram as such and scan the whole ram your whole mi physical memory for a certain value. Now, the value type is usually going to be four bytes, but if that doesn't work, I would recommend you just go for all. Uh, the next most likely would probably be, be double or float, and yeah, if that doesn't work, go for all. Now, the downside of this method is this will take a while, okay? And when I say a while, it will take a while. <laughs> So what your computer has to do when we're doing this is ha it, ha it has to scan the whole memory, okay? Whereas if you select the process, it only has to actually scan a certain portion of the physical memory that is attached to that process. Now you're scanning all of your memory. So 16 gigabytes, 32 gigabytes, 64 gigabytes, 128 gigabytes, however much that is. So you better have a high clock processor, okay? So... In this case, we're going to hack the money value, of course. And that was 999,000, blah, 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 five. Okay, so, <laughs> so um, yeah, I warned you, this takes a while, which is why I'm actually not going to have my computer go through all this. It's going to generate too much heat and uh, it's going to take too long. I'm going to switch to an instance of Cheat Engine where I've already completed the scan. And as you can see, we have the value right down here and up here it's it's somewhere <laughs> it's somewhere it's here yeah that's the value and as you can see once i change it to a thousand it becomes a thousand over here a million and it becomes a million over there and a billion and it becomes a billion over there so that is how it works i was always mystified that you couldn't just attach it to the uh, the actual emulator process uh, at least in most android emulators and yeah this is how you do it you just scan your whole physical memory again in order to do that you have to have under edit settings your your uh, read write process memory enabled under extras okay that's very important it's going to take a while you're going to have to be very patient like when i uh, looked for was looking for this value it took about 10 minutes Okay, but my computer is a few years old that I'm using right here. So in your case, it might be faster. Anyways, guys, that is how that works. Um, I'm Sammy from, Cheat uh, from Cheatware, and I need to plug this also. If you're looking for um, game hacks, mods, or cheats, if you don't want to use Cheat Engine or, and, and you want to use mods or something instead on your emulator or for your computer or whatever, um, I recommend HackerBot.net. It allows you to find legitimate cheat providers because on Google, you're going to find a lot of scams, a lot of human verification, a lot of cheats that are impossible, such as unlimited money in online games and such like things. Uh, by the way, guys, if you hate these scammers as much as I do, and uh, you are tired of getting scammed into human verifications and other weird stuff and, and downloading fakes, give this video a like to help me fight the scammers and the spammers. Anyways, HackerBot.net, you can just Google HackerBot, offers you a tool 
that allows you to find legitimate cheats from legitimate cheat providers with a proven track record that are only posting working and clean files and the way the tool works is you get head over to hackerbot.net just google hackerbot go for the find free cheats icon with the search icon and what you have to do now let's say you want to find a mod or a cheat for um, PUBG Mobile on Android, for example, of course it works for any device, any platform. What you would do here is you would just enter the name of your game, so PUBG Mobile, then the name of your system, Android or iOS or whatever. If you're using an emulator, um, enter enter the emulator, enter the enter the emulator, and um, then in the end you want to enter the game version that is current. Now there's a tutorial underneath the tool that will allow you to actually check, uh, find out how to check the game version in your particular case. Now, once you've done that, you have your game name, your system, your game version, you can search and find legitimate mods, cheats, hacks, and other cheating methods, such as, uh, for example, Game Guardian scripts or cheat engine tables that will allow you to cheat in your game and be happy. <laughs> Anyways, guys, that's my plug at the end. I'm Sammy from Cheatware, and I hope this method of hacking emulators helps you. Again, leave a like, leave a comment down below. Tell me what kind of cheats you're looking for, and I'll see you guys next time.